So last week I transformed my bedroom into the ultimate tech bedroom and after seeing that you guys wanted to see my living room be transformed so I did it. But wait, 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 I can't reveal it yet because there's one very important thing missing here. Oh, look at this. I have this beautiful LG OLED 4K TV, the C7 model, 65 inches of pure beauty, but this is not the only thing I have here today. I have something that goes perfectly with it. Here we go. I've also got the LG SJ9 soundbar to go with the TV. These guys go perfectly with each other, so big thanks to LG for sending these my way. But now let's open them up and see what's inside. One off. Whew. One step closer, guys. Okay, man. I know I'm gonna struggle with this. This TV is bigger than I am. Oh, oh, that was easy. Oh, guys, you guys don't even know. I've been waiting, I've been waiting for this. Oh, let's open that box. Oh, there we go. Let's take off this styrofoam. Whoa! Oh my God, that is so thin. <laughs> guys. I, mean, I did not know it was gonna be that thin. Oh my God, oh, I better be extra careful, guys. Oh, there's some proper instructions on how to, yeah, I'm gonna read it, guys. Um, hmm, okay. I really hope I'm doing this right. Okay, okay. All right, I put the TV on the console. Let's take off the styrofoam and reveal it. Let's take this off nicely. I don't like that sound. Whoa! Oh my God! Look at that! Look at that! Oh, uh, would you look at that? All right, so before I dive into what this TV can do, let's hook up that sound bar, clean this whole place up, and then we'll have the ultimate living room set up. So here is my living room and obviously the very first thing that you see when you walk in this room is this big and beautiful 65 inch LG 4K OLED TV. So of course I had to plan the rest of the room around this thing. This room is basically the TV room. So I want to make sure it's comfortable and loungy. I want to make sure that when I come to it I have the best TV viewing experience I can have while still looking really good. So I'm gonna start with what the TV and the soundbar is on top of, this beautiful West Elm TV console. I absolutely love white and wood together. I think that is such a beautiful combination. The wood on here also I'm like in love with. I love that it feels like it's real wood. It looks amazing. But not only does it have looks, like inside of this thing, there's amazing cable management going on. So you can kind of see, if you look in there, hidden in the back, there's like little holes and cutouts throughout the piece inside where the cables can distribute nicely. And that, my friends, is the best type of cable management when you can't see it. And you guys probably already saw some of my gaming consoles here, like my Xbox One S. And guys, I am so happy I went with the white one. I was gonna get the blue Gears of War one, but this white one just blends in so nicely in this setup. Now you guys probably already noticed that purple splash of color going on the back of this. Of course, we got a hue light strip in there. Let's go for a nice warm, oh yes, let's go for a warm color here because that brings me to the rest of the lights in this room. On this side, there's a lot of lights going on because I like being, I feel like it welcomes you into the room, you know? Like you see all these lights and you're just like, it's TV time. Now this area really makes me want to sit here for hours because I got this sea of pillows, this little ottoman for my feet, my MacBook over there. And I mean that mixed with the color scheme that's going on here too. Little splashes of gold and marble and the cream colored stuff and the little bits of dirty pink. I, I could sit here all day guys. So on video you guys can obviously see how big this TV is and how thin it is but I wish I could show you guys 
how good the picture quality is. Like it looks so good because it is 4K, so we're gonna get that super sharp resolution, but it's also OLED. So each individual pixels are lighting up and the blacks are truly black because those pixels actually turn off, similar to what you see on some smartphones these days. Man, like I was watching Moana last night on this thing, and by the way, I think it's so much better than Frozen, but you guys let me know in the comments below. But besides that, there was a scene in Moana where like the stars were in the sky, like lit up, there's a nighttime sky, and the blacks were so truly black. It looked so lifelike and real. It's amazing. The colors are crazy vibrant, like they just pop out at you and it can display over a b -b 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 billion different colors and there's HDR support, which is so cool. So usually those are the only reasons you would pick up a TV like this, but for me that's really only half of it because probably my favorite thing about this guy is that it's running web OS and I know what you're thinking, Crystal, please do not start talking about another clunky TV interface but this one's actually really good, like so good, and I'm being 100% honest when I say this, so good that I'm probably not gonna be using my Apple TV that much anymore, or even my Chromecast, especially because the ones that I have don't support 4K. And forget about 4K support for a minute, even interface-wise, it looks so nice and neat. If I push the menu button, I got all my favorite apps down here, and remember, these are all built into the TV. I can even download more if I wanted to. And like I mentioned before, the Magic Remote is so awesome, because I can like scroll around like a little laser pointer, has a cursor on the screen, and make selecting things so easy. I mean, I can even scroll up and down if I wanted to. There's so many cool features to talk about here, but one of my favorite things is how well the TV pulls information from the cable box. So if you see down here, there's a My Channels tab, and it got all my favorite channels saved right here. But I think it's so cool how easy it is to navigate between those two. And no TV setup is complete without the proper sound, so that's why I have the LG SJ9 soundbar that actually has something called Dolby Atmos built in, which was actually only available in theaters before, but now we get it in this guy, so we get a truly immersive home audio listening experience where sound can move anywhere to get the ultimate surround sound. So not only do we have a 4K TV, but we also get 4K sound with this soundbar because it'll take any audio source and up convert it into a higher resolution, so you're gonna get good sound no matter what, and like most soundbars, it has Wi-Fi and Bluetooth built in, but this guy also has a Chromecast audio built in. So let's test that out real quick. That's some good sound, let's pump it up. Wow, that sounded really good. I, mean, I forgot to mention to you guys, but this guy came with a subwoofer, I put it here in the corner, I mean, Look at the size of this thing. You get some really bumping bass out of here. So there it is, my living room setup. I always have so much fun making these because I feel like it's a great way of showcasing your style with the tech that you have. And as always, I got all the links in the description box below, even to the stuff that I didn't mention, like the cool lamps and stuff. But anyways, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you later.